In this review, I will be showing you the four best solar panel chargers for 2018. These solar chargers will be rated on their power output, their quality, and other features. All of the solar panels are portable and collapsible, and they are essential for any outdoor activity to keep your devices charged up. Everyone has a device or phone that needs to be charged in some way or another. Staying charged up while outdoors can be a grueling task without the proper equipment like portable solar chargers. The whole point of a solar charger is for free energy on the go. When you're backpacking, a foldable solar panel can give you the power that you need for whatever situation you find yourself in. Here are the four solar panel chargers that I will be reviewing today. We will be counting down from four to one. Also, make sure to read the whole article or just scroll to the end to get a couple solar charging tips to consider before buying your next charger. Number four, Goal Zero Nomad 20. This solar charger is a nice touch to any camping trip because it has 20 watts of power and can charge your laptop or any other device that is small or medium sized. The panel can also daisy chain, or in other words, connect to another solar panel charger to get even more power where you need it. The panel comes with a mesh pocket to store cables and devices or any other small gadgets that might be lying around. The Nomad 20 also has one USB connection that you can connect to your battery bank or device. The construction of the solar charger is monocrystalline and is weatherproof, so you can use it in most conditions. Number three is the Sun Kingdom Solar Charger. The Sun Kingdom Solar Charger has six solar panels on it, making it the largest surface area out of all of these solar panels. The Sun Kingdom claims to have 39 watts of power, which is the most powerful one featured out of all of the other solar chargers mentioned. However, it's been said that the panel really puts out about 30 watts of power in consistent sunlight. This is still the most power out of all four solar panels, but just be aware of the claim wattage versus the actual tested wattage. Nevertheless, this solar panel charger has a huge output and comes with a USB connector and also an 18 volt DC outlet as well. Some other features include multiple connectors that can charge many different laptops and devices. Also important, if you are charging an iPhone or an iPad, make sure that you keep the panel in consistent sunlight because there's a chip in the Apple devices that doesn't allow for inconsistent current from its power source, which the solar chargers very often have due to the inconsistent weather conditions. For more information on a power bank that can get you the consistent power you need, check out my solar generator review in the description below. Number two is the Chotex Solar Charger. This solar panel kit has a great size, a lot of power, and has a dual USB port. The foldable solar panel also comes with loops to connect to a tent, backpack, or tree, and a pocket to store your device while charging. Be careful when doing this though, because when charging a device, a phone or a tablet, while there is a lot of heat from the sun, it can malfunction and overheat. It is important to keep your device in the shade while charging. This product is not sold on Amazon but can be purchased on their website. Lastly, the solar charger claims to get 19 watts of power. This has been criticized from customer testing, but the power output is still really good, testing at about 15 watts of consistent power. Number one is the RAV Power Solar Charger. I've rated this solar panel charger the best due to its power output, its versatility, and its consistent current of power. The panel has an iSmart chip in it which allows you to charge devices consistently, so you can charge your iPhone and iPad safely. The charger has 16 watts of power, comes with two USB connectors and has metal loops or eyes embedded in it. This allows you to tie it with a carabiner or other tool for easy use on a backpack or a tent to charge with. The panel is compact and charges your devices quickly. Finally, here's some of the bonus tips for solar charging. Number one, the longer the USB cable is from the portable solar panel, the less power output you're going to get. More cable distance equals smaller output. Number two, make sure that both ports have the same current running through it. One USB port could have a really high output and charge your devices quickly while the other one is slow. Number three, and lastly, angle your solar panels so they are perpendicular to the sun. This may seem obvious to some, but it is highly important for maximum charging times. You can find the links to all of these solar panels below, except for the Chotec one. Some solar panel chargers, including the RAV Power, have restart technology that powers your devices consistently. However, most panels do not have this feature. It is important to have this because you could end up not getting the results you want from. This is why I would recommend getting a portable solar power bank or portable power generator to connect your solar panels to because these batteries will eliminate the inconsistencies from the charging of the solar panels and will give you consistent power. If you are interested in a portable power station for your next trip, click the link in my description below to read my review on the Goal Zero Yeti 150 portable power station. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Comment with questions and let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more informational videos. Cheers!